I'm gonna freak that guy out. I'm watching you! So you guys are always complaining I never take you anywhere. You know, this is as much outdoors as you really need so you can rationalize staying on the couch for another few days. Okay, so we're outside and it's two degrees of Celsius and I can't feel my fingers, but we're still gonna do this. Thankfully, there is not a lot of news. Um, we have our promo photos for season eight, episode 11, Ships in the Night, and season eight, episode 10, Recruited. The only really interesting thing is that if you look at the photos, Diane Neal's in a dress, then she's in overalls holding her dress, and then she's just in overalls. So I'm wondering if we're gonna get a similar scene. If you've ever seen CSI season five, Formalities, Sophia has a scene where she um, has to do a crime scene, but she's in the evening dress. So she uh, puts overalls on and then takes the dress off. It's kind of sexy, a little desperate. But um, so all this leads me to wonder if we're gonna get a similar scene. Okay, so as far as the promo pics go, there's a link down there. As well, we also have our promo for season eight, episode 11, Ships of the Night, which is going to air on January 11th. And the promo uh, looks good, nothing really to note. There's, you know, Denosa one-liner, shots of Diane Neal, shots of Abby in a short skirt, sort of all the staples of a promo. I'm excited for this episode, it looks good, I hope it doesn't disappoint. Uh, what else do we have? Um, oh, we have a lot, if you're interested, uh, they just dumped a batchload of new merch on the CBS and CIS official store. Um, there's about seven new t-shirts. My favorite is this one. It says uh, strange is not a crime. Uh, this one's my favorite because it's actually a fairly well done Photoshop render of Abby as opposed to um, just like a picture and some text which most of them usually are. Uh, regardless they are all really nice t-shirts so if you're looking for something uh, go there. Also if you're interested there is a metal Bert the farting hippo sign. So if you have like a parlor in your house that's lacking a farting hippo plaque there you go. And also if you're, you know, feeling the recession, haven't got a lot of cash to throw around, you can get a $5 Bert the Farting Hippo whoopee cushion. Okay, uh, last but not least, just a little something, uh, and I forgot to bring um, and their information with me, but this is their um, screen name, sent me uh, a link to Jesse Stern's Twitter, in which he posted a picture of Michael Weatherly um, in an office of some sort, and the caption reads, I'm gonna yell action, and I'm just gonna say, let's go, and then run in there and take his place. And this is about his uh, directorial debut. Um, I do like the picture because uh, Michael Weatherly seems to be like miming or like saying, you know, what's typed in a very animated way. But at the same time, there is a cardboard cutout of himself right behind him that was used in that one episode where he was gonna be like the new NCIS poster boy. Um, I just wanna say that, you know, when I get an office, there's definitely going to be a six foot Michael Weatherly cutout there. If you're wondering where I am at the horseshoe pits, um, the only thing that I can... Thank <laughs> you.